road in the Bacatown area, residents beat Anwar Garbutt to death. On the ground, it's a story of residents taking matters into their own hands to protect their children. But for police, this is a criminal investigation. According to multiple sources, shortly after 8 this morning, Garbutt exposed himself to a female minor. When residents in the neighborhood caught wind of the incident, they pursued Garbutt. It is alleged that the angry mob of about 20 people ran after Garbutt for quite a distance across the Bacatown area. Garbutt was caught by at least four persons. According to Dangriga police, they were called out shortly before 9, and when they arrived, Garbutt was dead. Police officers, including members of our Crimes Investigation Branch, were dispatched to the area, and they later confirmed that uh, there was an incident where a male p person who was later identified as Anwar um, Garbot. He's a 34-year-old laborer. He apparently took out his private part and shook it at a, at a female minor in the community. And members of that community apparently responded by chasing him. They apparently caught up with him and they Apparently, we were informed that it was about four persons who beat him up, and he later succumbed to, to, to those injuries that he received. It is said that minutes before he was killed, Garbot ran under this house and was beaten here with multiple tools used as weapons in this case. While residents in the area wouldn't give an interview, they claimed that rocks, pieces of board, and bottles were used in Garbot, and he was dragged out on the street in front of this tree. He sustained massive head injuries and died shortly after. Police say the details cannot be disclosed at this time. We are currently investigating the matter. It is still in its embryonic, embryonic age, um, stages, so um, I wouldn't want to comment on that right now because I wouldn't want to say anything that would jeopardize the, the integrity of, of that investigation. So at this time, uh, no one in police detention with respect to this incident? At this moment, no. But what police can confirm is that Garbutt is no stranger to the law. He has been convicted of indecent exposure in the past. What police couldn't confirm for us were the multiple reports that Garbutt may have also committed similar acts in a village in southern Belize. Residents of the Bacatown area also told us that this isn't the first time he has exposed himself to girls in the community. I can say to you that we have confirmed that he had been charged with exposing him, his person in public before and um, there are other, we, we believe that it is not, this situation was not unique in that it had happened before based on what we are hearing so that others may have happened which were not reported. So you'd say there are still matters before the courts with respect to this particular individual? Yes, um, we have a matter before the court with him regarding unlicensed firearm, right? And we know that uh, he has been convicted for drug charges and theft before. So he, he is no stranger to police. But did the resident's attempt of vigilante justice go too far? Will it prove to be a challenge for investigators in Dangriga, considering that it involves people from a close-knit community? Well, the investigation is still in its early stages. No one wanted to speak directly about what they witnessed because of the nature of the issue and also because they didn't want to implicate themselves. But police are hopeful that they will get the information they are looking for, and they've started by asking for the individuals to come forward. We enjoy a fairly good relationship and... Um, we always, at the end of the day, they always come true for us, and we believe, we are. I am certain that they will for us again. Okay, so up to this time, they are cooperating with police and giving you the information? Well, so far, right. So far, I've um, been looking for one blogger who happens to be, we know him, blogger to be Ryan McKenzie, and we have another person who is known as Pepper, who we are looking for, who we believe can assist us in, in our investigation. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.